Protect new mothers, lower drug costs, and expand access to health care. Those are some of the priorities announced in the Texas House Speaker's Healthy Families, Healthy Texas legislative package. Here to talk about this is Dr. Deborah Pat, the chair of the Texas Medical Association Council on Legislation. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. We're excited about the package. You know, the TMA has shown support for a number of healthcare related bills that expand access through telemedicine. How does HB4 and HB5 bring healthcare into the 21st century? That's a great question. Um, so House Bill 4 uh, from 4 Price out of Amarillo would increase access to telehealth and telemedicine for Texans. There were many provisions made during the pandemic, um, but they've not been made permanent yet. So House, House Bill 4 would help establish some of these changes as permanent that would allow telemedicine to be a continuous solution for patients. And House Bill 5 is a really important aspect for Texas, and that's by Representative Ash be out of Lufkin that would expand broadband connection. So Texas, because so much of the state is rural, um, has a, a challenge in getting broadband access that provides limitations in telemedicine and teleeducation. By prioritizing House Bill 5 or broadband access even in rural Texas, Texas sets forth a, a plan supported by the governor um, uh, to enhance um, those tel telemedicine connections and makes telemedicine a reality for rural Texans. What about affordability? There's a lot being done to improve affordability. So we're seeing um, efforts to both increase price transparency. Uh, Chairman and Dr. Oliverson has been a champion of price transparency and is really pushing forward hospital price transparency in legislation. We also see um, uh, bills to put forth uh, uh, competition and choice. We think that transparency, competition, and choice will always lower um, costs of healthcare. Um, and, and so those are important for Texas to maintain high value health care. With the pandemic in mind, has it changed how lawmakers need to think about health care? You know, it has. It's a great question. Uh, we found during the pandemic, there's been a lot of medical distancing. I myself am a cancer specialist, I, and I can tell you many cancers have gone undiagnosed during the pandemic because patients aren't having their regular screening. But much there, there's been a lot of distancing from medicine. So we need to think about access and accessibility differently, which isn't only about insurance, but is to some degree about insurance. And you see some of that in the package. Um, I praise Speaker Phelan and his bipartisan um, uh, reaching across the aisle to really champion these efforts. Um, you know, We see it in investing in reducing barriers and red tape for children to have access to Medicaid. We see it in expanding um, access for young mothers um, after they have children. So we're seeing a lot of these important changes that Texas needs. What would you like to see state lawmakers consider when they're looking at health care legislation this session? Well, I think it's true that healthcare is complicated and we need to always look at solutions and the details of those solutions that are right for Texas. Um, uh, I'm excited to see the budget make accommodations for Medicaid rate increases for pediatrics. I think that makes a difference because um, uh, people need access to their doctors and so network adequacy can be a problem in the Medicaid program. Um, and we need to work together to find real solutions. So TMA is willing to do that. Texas does have 29 million citizens, yet 5 million that are uninsured. These are real problems and we're happy to have legislators that are partnering with us to form Texas, Texas right solutions. Okay, we have to wrap it up. Dr. Pat, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you.